morning everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe at home with family. Um, today we're going to be doing a craft just to help brighten our day. Um, on that note, we're going to be making our own sun. I know we can't really go outside right now um, just so that we can all stay safe and healthy in our homes. Um, so I thought let's bring a little bit of the sunshine into our home. So we're going to be making our own sun today. All you're going to need for the craft today is a paper plate, um, some tape, um, whatever medium you want to use to color your sun. So that might be colored pencils, markers, crayons, um, sharpies, paint. Today I'm improvising because I was going to use watercolor, but I'm currently really low on that. So I'm going to improvise and I thought it'd be fun to use nail polish. So that's what I'm going to use to paint my sun today. In addition, you might want some stickers for the end of the um, craft, and you're going to need a piece of paper that can be just regular printed paper or construction paper, whatever kind of paper you want to use. So the first thing you want to do is to get a paper plate. If there's more than one of you, you guys can cut them in half and use half plates. Otherwise, you can use a whole plate as well. I went ahead and cut my plate in half, and um, that's what I'm going to be using to make my sun. So the first thing we're going to do is color in our Whatever color you want it to be, it can be red, it can be blue, it can be green, it can be yellow, whatever color you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and use this red and this pink nail polish that I got. So as you can see, I already started coloring in my sun. I'm going to start by making the rays on the outer edge. Now, this isn't going to be perfect, of course, for one, I'm using nail polish, but also, I think it's really important that it's art. Art is rarely perfect. I don't know if there is a such thing as perfect art. Um, so just have a lot of fun. Um, another really quick note, you can see I put magazines down on my table so I don't make a mess on the table. So especially if you're using paint or nail polish like I am, um, put something down underneath your workstation so that you don't make a mess. Um, yeah. So I'm going around the outer edge to make the rays of my sun. On this paper plate, there's like little sections, and I'm going every other section and going ahead and coloring that in. So you can use whatever colors you want to color in your sun. Now, I'm not going to sit here and do my entire sun, just because I don't want you guys to have to sit and listen to me just color the entire time. So you're just going to go around and do your rays in whatever colors you want. Then, you're going to take the next color you want to use. For me, I'm going to be using this red. And I'm going to co color the body of my sun. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to take my red. And I'm just going to go across my sun like this. You can go across. You can make zigzags up and down. I just figured this is an easy quick way to go ahead and paint my sun. If you're using paint, I definitely would suggest um, getting like a little piece of um, like thicker paper or like cardboard or if you have like a separate um, um, container that for paint um, just to put it out so you don't have to keep dipping into the paint bottle. Um, like I have to do with my nail polish and it'll save you lots of time. So you're just gonna keep painting all the way across until you cover your whole sun. Again, you can do zigzags, you can do swirlies, you can do circles, really. It's just your chance to be artistic and creative um, with your sun, whatever you want it to be. But the end, it's, it's whatever you want it to be, really. Gonna keep coloring this in. Hope everyone's doing great and staying safe at home with their families. Um, I know with my family, we've been doing lots of movie nights together. We started a show together that we watch, watch like two or three episodes every night um, before we go to bed, which is really fun. Um, also, we're doing a lot of cooking and baking together, which is fun. I've made already three batches of chocolate chip cookies this week, so um, it's great ways like that just to stay active and have fun with your family. Um, I know me 
a place in my life to exercise, so I just learned working out in my living room. Um, my family also does that as well. So I definitely encourage you guys to find ways to have fun with your parents, your guardians, your siblings. Um, just have fun. So I'm not going to paint my entire sun, but you guys get the idea. To finish up your art project when your sun is dry, this will be what the end product look like, looks like. So what I did is I took a piece of blue construction paper and I took some tape and I just rolled it up. I did that nice and I taped it to the rim of my thumb. So just a little piece of tape onto the rim. Just like that. So I did four pieces of tape. One, two, three, four, all the way around to make sure that my sun stuck down. You can also use glue, it just might take a little while for it to dry before you can pick it up like this. Um, I wanted mine to be a sun in space. So I, after I stuck it onto my piece of paper, I took some little star stickers and I stuck them around my sun. I encourage you to do stickers or just draw around your sun. You can draw a sunset. Um, you could draw a sun in the garden with some butterflies or some flowers around or some birds in the sky, however you want your art to be. So that's the end of this class. I hope you guys had a great time. Um, remember to stay safe inside and have a great day, you guys. Bye.